see these trails in the sky, the less rain we get. Virtually all scientific data, even from the proponents of geoengineering, state clearly saturating the atmosphere with particulates will create drought. Much has been made of this issue of damage from precipitation. If the issue is understanding the climatic response, which was I think most of where this was going, and it's exactly where the precipitation gets higher and lower, there will be monsoon failures during that period, there will be huge hurricanes. It's likely to cause some damage in some places. The global studies indicate there will be some impact on precipitation patterns and obviously there's a lot more opportunity for work in that area. Just seeding can be pretty effective for the clouds we explored, but the interactions between seeding and precipitation in the form of drizzle are really complex. So we're finding the aerosols, the metal particulates, the weather engineering, whether it's scalar, ionic, or organ, or the chi of the atmosphere, all of those can be used and, and leveraged to create weather events that are several standard deviations or outside what would be typically normal. Before jumping on the chemtrail bandwagon was I needed a motive. Without a motive, you can't say what they're doing and why they're doing it. You have to have a motive. Oh, what are the derivatives or products that uh, commercial hedgers would use, such as an insurance company or an energy company, to hedge risk that's associated with weather? Precipitation or a hurricane or general heating days is what they're basically called. Certain temperatures or you know higher temperatures are going to associate with um, more energy, so they're going to want to hedge that risk. So it's Tuesday, the 26th of June, 2012, and stratospheric particle injection, stratospheric aerosol injection, solar radiation management. Geoengineering. I still like chemtrails. I'm still going to call them chemtrails because that's what they are chemical trails. Doesn't matter if they're putting sulfur oxide, aluminium oxide, barium salts, I don't care. Any particulates being sprayed on these chemicals. It's... We've got to stop this. We've really got to stop this. It's becoming ridiculous. Yesterday they whited out the sky. Today it's actually still quite blue. Just horrendous trailing, horrendous fucking trailing. Boggles my mind. Boggles my mind that people can't actually see this. I think sometimes they feel ashamed after it's been pointed out to them that they haven't noticed it. And that was the same with me. I mean, I noticed myself back in November 2011. And that's what made me look into it personally. And then you realise all these people have been screaming about it for years. <laughs> have been right on the money. We're being poisoned with all these little little nano-sized particles and really what's it all for? I mean what is it all for? They say it's to save the planet. I don't believe that for one second because global warming, man-made global warming is a hoax. I mean we all know that now, the stats prove it. The planet is rising, the temperature in the planet is rising, everyone knows that. So is Mars, so is Venus, so is Jupiter and the CO2 is following it. So as the planet heats up the CO2 gets released more in the atmosphere. But for some reason, one out of 13 scientists who's heavily funded by the US government and the UK government and the UN, they want to prove to you that, yeah, man-made global warming does exist. I mean, the whole point, if you're spraying particulates like this in the air, and you're causing that, reflecting sun out, you're also going to bounce sun and heat around everywhere. And funnily enough, in their own papers, geoengineers say that. They say ultimately it might have a rising temperature effect, <laughs> which is what they're trying to stop. Ultimately, if you ask me, it's all about the money to create a false industry around global warming, carbon tax credits, all this crap. I don't know if you can work out where they've been switching on and off. Can you see that? I really do sometimes think about the psychology of it all. I mean, why, why people don't want to see it. I mean, once I first noticed and looked into it, you can't help not see it. I mean, and, and for me, people say oh, water vapour trails, they're, they're just clouds, but to me they look like clouds of particles of dust that are blocking out the sun. <laughs> I don't understand why the majority can't see that. 
look, I mean, this is just unbelievable. We're breathing this in. Oh, 